It happened again, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to a brand new news roundup. And what I mean by it happened again is that I posted a video on Friday. And what, like, honestly, 10 to 15 to 20 minutes later, James Gunn put out a post on threads discussing the villain rumor that I went over in that video. James Gunn, do you have notifications on for the channel? Because that was a bit too much of a coincidence. I'm joking, I'm joking. But no, seriously, guys, we need to dive into this. It surrounds that dark Superman rumor. A lot of people after he posted that are interestingly saying that Gunn called the Ultraman Dark Superman rumor completely fake. He debunked absolutely everything about it. But did he? A lot of people are starting to come around and be like, oh, wait. Did he? And there's other news in this video, of course. It is a news roundup. We're going to be getting into maybe a little bit of a hint of when we could get our first look at the full suit reveal for Superman. Speaking of David Corrinsweet, well, we got another look at him because he went to this film launch event for one of his movies and he spoke to a couple of fans talking about some of the influences behind uh, James Gunn's Superman. And there's other things in this video I want to get to. Timestamps, as always, ladies and gentlemen, in the video description or hover over the video bar. So if you don't know already, um, and this isn't really spoilery depending on what your take is coming out of James Gunn addressing this rumor but I would just say the background behind it is that uh, there's been quite a few scoopers as of I would say around mid to early last week saying that there's going to be a clone ultimately the takeaway is a clone of Superman in the movie and Lex would be doing this right he would be the main antagonist behind it the main villain per se and that's what we're getting into and I actually spoke about this early last week because as I said the rumor was brewing around then but it's just on Friday, I made a dedicated video kind of going into, okay, how can I think this villain could fit in? And it's when I made that specific video gun around again 20 minutes later, which is why I joke about notifications on the channel, he posted this. So he says, okay, and this is where I'm not trying to get into conspiracy territory, but I, I do want to encourage just opening your mind a little bit, and I'll say why. So he says, the primary protagonist of Superman is shockingly... Superman. Yeah, I think we can all agree with that, right? The main villain of Superman is, shockingly, Lex Luthor. Okay, all right. I, I don't disagree there, right? So I don't know where all the stuff is coming from that is it's something other than this. More on that in a second. There are so many stories coming out every day, it's difficult to deal with, and every time I strike something down, I'm giving it attention. Fair enough. Absolutely fair enough. Uh, so I'll say again, don't believe anything unless you see it here. And then in parentheses he says, and why, why would you want to know everything before the movie comes out anyway? But the main thing here, ladies and gentlemen, is that a lot of people are starting to look into this as, okay, maybe this is one of James Gunn's, and you may or may not know about this. It sounds like a bit of a non-denial in a way. And what I mean by that is that this, the way the scoop was put out there by insiders, so for example, the insiders said that Ultraman, so this Superman clone, whatever it would have ended up actually being, would be, the main villain. And as a result, in James Gunn's post here, in his response, he just answered to that specifically. That's how he answered the rumor, in that headline, so to speak. But the idea being, like, the thing is here, you know, Lex Luthor would have been the main villain regardless. Like, regardless of this Superman, like, Superman clone, Dark Superman, Ultraman, whatever you want to say, Lex Luthor would have been the puppet master behind all of it. So, in this post here, Gunn just replying to, again, the headline that kept going around, it's like, oh, Ultraman is the main villain of Superman Legacy, not legacy, but you know what I mean? That's not true. So he's saying the primary protagonist of Superman is shockingly Superman. The main villain of Superman is shockingly Lex Luthor. I don't know where all this stuff is coming from that is something other than this. No. If Ultraman was in it, it would be Luthor still as the main villain. And it just ends there, really. But there's not, you know, to all the people saying that he quite literally called it fake, he says that the clone scoop or inside info is fake, there's not one bit in this whole message anywhere, if I want to kind of look at it really acutely, of him shutting down or saying something like, nope, there is no clone, there is no dark Superman, Lex Luthor doesn't use his science y -C stuff to try and to, I don't know, create a clone of Superman to defame him and, you know, everything else that we explored with the theories of why Luthor would create a clone. And I find that interesting. Now, I'm just looking at this in such a way where I I'm not calling him a liar, this is what I kind of wanted to dial it back to. It would be the same way in how James Gunn wasn't lying for 
example, when he responded to people, and this is where people, you know, do bring up how Gunn has put up non-denials before, and on a technicality, he was telling the truth. So the latest uh, example of that would be that rumor of uh, this conflict in the Middle East, where Superman flies out there and there's this big thing that happens, and he said it wasn't true, but then, due to this public thing that happened with an actor who was cast as this dictator of the Middle East, Bassem Youssef, it then basically indirectly came out that that part of the script was true, but Gunn wasn't lying because by that point it had been written out. So, of course, he would reply that it's not true. So here, I know it's not the exact same situation, but with that in mind, if you know what I mean, when you reread this message, and bear in mind what I said about how the headline that was going around about Ultraman, this dark Superman being the main villain, was rotated in basically an incorrect way, because Ultraman was never going to be the main villain, Gunn answering this and saying, well, Lex Luthor is the main villain, thus, in a bit of wordplay, kind of makes it seem like, oh yeah, the Ultraman stuff, or this dark Superman clone, oh, that's all fake. But, do you know what I mean? If Lex Luthor's the main villain who creates Ultraman, he would still be the main villain, so therefore, with him not saying, oh, there's no clone in the movie here, is there another wordplay situation going on, is what a lot of people are thinking. And I have to say, I have to say, I think there might be. I'm not saying there is, I need to stress that for crying out loud, don't misconstrue what I'm saying here, but I want to kind of look into all of this, really kind of zoom out bird's eye view and be like, you know what, it, he didn't deny it straight up. And the thing is, if he basically replies to someone, and this is what I'll find very interesting, that, you know, let's just say quote tweeted or quote threaded or whatever you want to call it, saying, hey James, is there a clone in this movie though? What about that part? You know, we're not disagreeing that Lex Luthor would be the main villain, but what about the clone? The clone, James. And if he said, nope, no clone whatsoever, no dark Superman, nothing, then I would shut the F up, basically. But he, ha he didn't do that. Once again, for the 15th time. He just said Lex is the main villain. And I know lots of people at this point, or if not, you maybe have already typed this comment. Some people said to me, so I guess you ignored the whole point of where he says, so I'll say it again, don't believe anything unless you see it here. That debunks it. I respectfully disagree. This is just James Gunn saying like, absolutely, if you want to know anything concrete and confirmed, I completely agree. Don't believe really anything because you can't for 100% certainty unless you hear it from him or Peter Safran. I stand by that. Like this whole rumor thing could still be false. But again, to those people saying that that part of this post, reread the whole message and you will see that there was no denial of a clone. He just confirms that Luther is the main villain. So don't believe anything out there saying that Luther isn't the main villain unless you hear it from me, basically. So it really just pertains to the whole response Gunn was giving anyway. And I have to admit, I thought that he wouldn't even respond to this because I do think if we're entertaining if this rumor of this dark Superman clone could be true it's a bit risky to post it in this way because since he hasn't basically you know responded to a tweet saying uh, so is there a clone and he, and he hasn't straight up said no it is kind of dodgy because then you might have again I guess here's this video manifesting people like me and it's not just me thinking this as there's other people who are now thinking well uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say he shot himself in the foot because clearly this message that he put out there has worked for tons of people, maybe you're watching right now, you think it's completely fake, you think it's completely debunked, and it worked. But there's people like me who are thinking and entertaining and playing both sides here are like, well, I don't know, you still didn't outright deny a clone. You just said Luther's the main villain, and whether there was a bloody clone in the movie or not, Luther, yes, James Gunn, would still be the main villain. I agree. So do you see what I mean? And combine that with, for example, what some of the biggest scoopers are saying, they are doubling down. It does make me think that maybe he decided to put this out there to kind of minimize it, again, diffuse, and thus, I guess, redirect it away from from, you know, letting people think that there is no Ultraman. Maybe he responded in this way, again, specifically not saying and saying, there is no clone in this movie, to not also be called a liar later if it does turn out to be true. Does that make sense as well? And again, um, lastly here, I will say that if he doubles down, triples down saying, oh, I, I shouldn't need to clarify this, but I thought I was saying this, I thought I was debunking it all, there is no clone, this whole theory of mine would be completely dead. But I just want to entertain it and ramble for this amount of time, I know I've rambled quite a bit, to really kind of hammer it in that Gunn has said stuff like this before, you can't call it strictly lying, especially when he's answering something specifically about the topic of a main villain. None of that denies this character of Ultraman or Dark Superman, a clone of Superman whatsoever. Really, it was just a post about the status of the main villain and him doubling down that it's Lex Luthor. So I don't know, I don't know. 
I really don't know. I, I'm, I'm, all I'm going to say is I'm going to bookmark this in my head. I'll let it lay for now. Um, and it's going to be interesting to see where this goes in the future, if any of it does turn out to be true. But I don't also blame him at the same time, by the way, because if it does turn out to be true, he is probably just trying his best to basically not want his movie or any aspect of it, I guess, spoiled in any way. And I know everyone has different feelings about that. As I said, with regards to the last part of this message here, you know, why would you want to know a lot about the movie? I feel like with regards to this, as of when we get that first teaser trailer or the first official trailer one, and as you normally know, it goes as an official trailer two, I do think if this did turn out to be true, the clone thing would be hinted at in the trailer maybe. So that's why I felt a bit comfortable talking and entertaining this rumor of Ultraman that insiders were putting out there. Plus, again, you know, I do give spoiler warnings just in case nobody wants to know anything about anything. So um, I guess that concludes my little ramble about this. So I, I guess I would put the, the question forward to you. What do you think about this? Do you think Gunn? Or can you categorically say that Gunn in that message they put out there completely denied and said any clone of Superman is 100% fake? Do you think he said that in that paragraph? Yes? No? Do you think that there is a possibility of Lex cloning in this movie and maybe that this message was put out there with him addressing maybe them just latching onto the main villain part of it and that was his way of still maybe trying to distract and get away from it and make it seem like a debunk? So do you think that maybe there is a bit of... A as per James Gunn in the past, him not technically lying, but putting something out there that does throw a smoke grenade in there a little bit. Let me know down in the comments below. Ultimately, only time is going to tell. I've, I've got my eye open just a little bit, just a teeny tiny little bit, just a little bit. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Okay, so with that out of the way, let's now talk in still related Superman news. We may, we may have a little, I don't know, and this could be, once again, maybe Boba and other people looking too deep into a situation again. But Gunn responded to somebody saying, hey, good to know. Honestly, I'm just ready to see Superman, you know, the suit. We're all really wanting to see a little bit more than, uh, you know, the, the Superman crest. When are we going to see the full suit? So Gunn replied, and I'm almost ready to show it to you, uh, even though we're probably only only 18% or so through it. Now, as a result, and believe it or not, before this reply from Gunn, lots of people were wondering anyway, could we see Superman's full suit reveal on April 18th? Now, the reason for that would be that it is the anniversary of when Superman debuted in the comics, April 18th, 1938. So here... Again, guys, I'm not saying this is one way or the other, but people, and me too, are kind of like, oh, you never know. <laughs> is he kind of giving... I guess you would say an Easter egg of we're only probably 18% or so through it, 18% being the hint there, and in direct response to somebody wanting to see the Superman suit. Obviously, it's impossible to tell with this one, um, but I guess what I would say is April 18th is when we could maybe, based on complete speculation, get our first look at David Corrin from boots to freaking cape of the Superman suit. And I really hope that is the case. Um, you know, we've been looking and investigating on the channel anyway. You know, when could we see it? We've had uh, Natalie Safran, Peter Safran's wife, say that, you know, it won't be for a bit, but soon enough. And I'm thinking, okay, you know, we, we saw the crest quite a while ago now. Soon enough would mean, okay, so not too far in the future. So maybe April 18th could maybe be the day. Maybe. And uh, you just know I'm going to, you know, I'm going to scream when that happens. So April 18th, mark that on your calendars as a maybe. Now up next, ladies and gentlemen, some Superman updates again, I guess. We had David Corrinsweet, uh, I believe, attend this premiere of his, uh, I think it's a romance movie called The Greatest Hits that he featured in. And so he did that little talk before they screened it. People got pictures of him, as you're seeing on screen right now. Shout out to David Thompson here. And how cool is this? David Thompson managed to get David Corrinsweet to sign his Superman shirt. Uh, he posted a little video, which I'll show you a snippet of now. And I just, one thing I will say about David Corrinsweet, I know everyone knows this. Not only I think uh, a lot of us very happy with his casting, but his voice is just like, I don't know, uh, melting butter Clark Kent style. Like I can e easily, as I always have said, imagine him say, you know, Miss Lane, you know, will you fly with me? A shout out to Superman and Lois there. Um, but yeah, yeah, roll the clip. Oh yeah, allow yourself, as when the lights go down, when music comes up, it's got a great aesthetic, a great vibe. Uh, allow yourselves to think about, you know, people who you've loved and people you've lost and the future and what that means to you. 
Um, and again, thank you guys so much for coming out to the movies. It's, it's the best thing ever. Yeah, thank you. Take care. See you next time. Now, lots of people, I mean, obviously are commenting on his physique. They're wondering if his hair has been dyed black there. Apparently, he did say, like, no photos to, like, I guess, selfies with people. But that didn't stop him from signing things, obviously. Um, he even drew his version of the Superman emblem on somebody's Superman pop vinyl. And we also had David Thompson say that before this, when he signed the shirt, he mentioned how the vibes of the new movie uh, are based on Superman for all seasons and all-star Superman. But the story is is totally its own thing. Also, nicest guy in the world, absolutely huge, great handshake. Uh, also, punched me in the chest. Um, so, I find it really interesting. It's something we kind of already knew, but it's something I've been wanting to dive into the channel. I've been teasing it for a while, like a video really getting into what I think could be kind of extracted from these comic books right here. So, I will be diving into uh, Superman for All Seasons. Um, I've already given a few theories based on what actually goes down in this book. Some major Lex Luthor the stuff I really I, I feel like I know what he means when he says and what James Gunn has said before uh, the vibes of the new movie are based on for all seasons and uh, all star Superman that, that doesn't mean they've got to copy and paste the plot as he says the story is totally its own thing but there is absolutely some uh, vibes that I can completely somewhat you know really envision in my mind with how the tone and certain I guess demeanors and directions for characters and how they will unfold in the plot will perhaps go. Um, so yes, look forward to that video. I hope you guys uh, will watch it. Uh, I want to have a proper geek out about this one. I can't put it bloody back in. There we go. Come on, there we go. Uh, this is a be beautiful, beautiful version of the comic. Go get it if you haven't already. Now, there were some other little Superman things in the past couple of days um, that I was going to mention in my previous video, but I didn't have time to. Now, Rachel Brosnahan joked how David Corinsweat's dog had, you know, she'd been recast by David Corinsweat's dog. And there was a, a little red thing, uh, you know, kind of draped over there in the background. And uh, people were thinking, okay, so is this just a dress for Lois? Or could it be a little tease, kind of like the 18th tease for Superman's cape? Some people are like, I guess, you know, getting their kind of microscopes out saying, well, a dress wouldn't drape that way, or, you know, but would it really be the cape? Now, Gunn put this, these little emojis, you know, you know, and that's neither a, a confirmation or a denial. I mean, I really don't know what to think about this one because you could argue it could be them you know, teasing and playing around a little bit. Regardless, that was very intentional, even if it isn't the cape. But what if it is? And, you know, some people like myself really want the Kryptonian crest uh, really nicely put in there. For example, like this on screen that you're seeing right now. And that might just be higher up. So it might be, it might not be. Uh, this is one of those things where I'm not going to say either way. I don't bloody know. Like, is it? I don't, I don't know. It could just be a dress that Lois wears. Now, another thing that has people concerned. So this is to do with the Teen Titans movie movie. One thing we know, if, if you're not caught up, is that with the DCU, we've got so many projects yet to be announced. Long story short, Gunn said with the 10 that were revealed uh, January 2023, Chapter 1, Gods and Monsters, that is less than half of just the Chapter 1 projects. Inferring that we're going to get like, what, 11 plus to just complete Chapter 1? Um, and we know Chapter 1 and 2 make up an 8 to 10 year plan. So 4 or 5 years per chapter, I guess 21-ish projects per chapter. Now, we know that it's 13 now, including the Teen Titans movie as per The Hollywood Reporter. That's a major trade and a big scoop for them to put out there quite boldly. We also have Peacemaker Season 2 and the DCU Arkham series, right? But Gunn never addressed the Teen Titans one saying, this is true. He never said, this is false. My only uh, answer of that is that it's not like a dotted line signed deal, so he doesn't want to acknowledge it just right away uh, because of like, I don't know, legally, financially kind of weird reasons, you know, deals and whatnot. Um, but here... You know, we have this user saying, thanks for the heads up with regards to the, um, you know, Superman, Ultraman uh, post that Gunn made. And they replied, can you also confirm that the live action Teen Titans movie is fake? And Gunn liked it. That is, that's interesting. Now, now some people were saying, I swear he's messing with us. Some people were saying uh, he may have just liked it uh, after initially just seeing thanks for the heads up and he just did a quick like. Um, but that is, you know, I guess wishful thinking because, you know, how do you not read? Can you also confirm that the live action Teen Titans movie is fake and he likes it? So do you know what I mean? Is he, I, I guess, you know, if you want to take it at face value, him liking a comment saying, can you confirm that the live action Teen Titans movie is fake? 
it is basically him saying it is fake. But again, I really hope that's not the case because, well, A, with that news, this is the Hollywood Reporter. That is a big headline to put out there saying, yeah, guys, we, we've learned that Anna Nogueira, the writer of Supergirl, is also penning the script for the Teen Titans movie. For them to, like, say that, no truth to it whatsoever, is quite an L for a major Hollywood press outlet. Do you know what I mean? So I don't know what to make of this, especially with how I am so confident that we're going to get a Teen Titans thing. So when I heard that news, I was like, this makes sense. Coming off of the back of Brave and the Bold eventually. So this would be years and years in the future. So, but we're now, we're, now we're hearing this. So I really don't know what to make of it. Maybe it's fake in the way it was presented, but there could be grains of truth to the Teen Titans project. Maybe it's not live action. Maybe that's why he liked it. Maybe it's an animated DCU project because we got Creature Commandos that's animated. And don't forget that, you know, for the longest time, DC wants their kind of own, you know, across the Spider-Verse theatrical level kind of, uh, you know, you know, stamp. And maybe that could be the Titans, uh, or Teen Titans in this case. So we're going to have to keep an eye on this one. Obviously, him liking a post like that isn't great uh, for us who really want it because it does infer that it is fake if he liked a post saying, is it fake? So I don't know, guys. Uh, make of that what you will. Now, very, very briefly here, quick update with Swamp Thing. This is kind of going as I expected. We have James Mangold's next project is expected to be Dawn of the Jedi. Um, and Swamp Thing would come after that. This is coming from The Hollywood Reporter because basically Star Wars Bo... Bo? Bo Will Willman? Willman? I probably butchered that name to co-write James Mangold's movie. So there's a bit of an update there with a co-writer. We have heard James Mangold say before, this is why people weren't so sure about when Swamp Thing would come. So he said, the truth is I'm writing both right now. So that's with reference to Dawn of the Jedi and Swamp Thing. Um, and who knows what's going to happen and what's going to blossom first or second. So there's your thing. I'm doing Swamp Thing. There's your scoop. It's not a rumor is happening i put it online but now it, i've always said i think you know the star wars dawn of the jedi thing would happen first it made sense with at least the initial release order lineup that we got from the gods and monsters chapter one video swamp thing was right at the end but then so was kind of supergirl but supergirl was fast tracked but in this case it might just be that hey yeah swamp thing is still kind of at the end of that initial 10 project announcement because you know, James Mangold is doing the Dawn of the Jedi movie anyway, about when they first kind of came to be, the the kind of concept of the Force, how that was discovered. And, uh, you know, yeah, we can let Swamp Thing, you know, release a little bit later as we kind of always planned. So yeah, James, you, James Mangold, you take charge right now with Dawn of the Jedi. So it's kind of a you know, uh, thing that I always felt like was going to happen. But just in case you thought that Swamp Thing was going to come out before Dawn of the Jedi, it's looking like that isn't going to be the case. Now, ladies and gentlemen, last story here today is a little update on Joker 2. Do not forget that tomorrow, as of when making this video, and you should be seeing it as of when making it, I guess, uh, is the 8th right now, tomorrow the 9th. Joker is, I believe, meant to be showing its Joker 2 fully ado trailer at CinemaCon. Discussing film here saying it's been rated R for some strong violence, language throughout, some sexuality, and brief, a full nudity. Goodness gracious me. But no, really, um, <laughs> I mean, that's to be expected. My God, I think it's going to be, you know, setting the precedent for possibly the darkest musical-esque film that we could have possibly had. But yeah, trailer tomorrow, April 9th. I believe it won't be happening until late in the evening or night for Americans. So for me, that's going to be like, what, 3 or 4 a.m. So I just want to put it out there. If there's no reaction or breakdown from me right away, it's because it's like something like 2 to 4 a.m. So unfortunately, on this channel, my video on Joker 2's first teaser trailer might not be up until the 10th uh, at the usual upload time i suppose just because typically you know this is this is the thing that sucks about being british and, and covering american time stuff it's just yeah i'm always the next day guy uh, but it is what it is but i'm also very interested to see how much they feature the musical aspects in the teaser trailer i'm really hopeful about this film i'm really looking forward to it and what i mean by hopeful is that i'm hoping it's going to change a lot of people's minds about the idea and concept of, of this film, I feel, I feel like a lot of people might be like, oh my god, this actually looks pretty damn good. But it's going to be interesting to see how much of like the narrative, the drama scenes, so like, you know, typical dialogue scenes that you'd have in Joker, so non-musical scenes that they may show versus the amount of very theatrical, like do they go all out with showing you and advertising that it is a musical. But yeah, it should be dropping at CinemaCon first and then I suppose uploading online. I don't know if that would happen right away or maybe the next day, April 10th, which would kind of be handy for me but knowing my luck no 
Uh, either way, trailer very, 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 very soon, as in tomorrow soon. Let me know your thoughts and uh, any hopes that you kind of want to see out of that first teaser. But ladies and gentlemen, I think that's everything I'm going to ramble about in today's news roundup. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm going to be, you know, keeping my eyeballs glued to this comment section. Really want to know what you have to say about absolutely everything. Um, but if you got this far, would really appreciate a like. Do consider subscribing. Double check if you're not already subscribed. You might think you are, but you actually might not be. But I'm going to love you and leave you. So as always, I just hope you have a lovely rest of your day. And I'll see all of you guys in the next video. Goodbye.